Well, good morning. We're out gonna do a short trip this morning get me some fresh fillets for this evening gonna be a quick trip so hopefully it'll be productive we shall see lots of bait up shallow well there's something down there they want that jeep And there we go. First one of the morning. It'll ill ill bitty one. But crappie nonetheless. Bam. Get on back down yonder there, little boy. Gonna try to have a little fun today, y'all. It ain't real important that I catch fish. I really shouldn't be out here with both seasons starting tomorrow. I got quite a bit of stuff to get done before I'm totally ready for in the morning. But, gonna be fun. He just came up under it and a better fish. Them the ones we looking for right there. Them the ones we looking for right there, y'all. That's him. That's him. Look how pretty that old jig looking at. And that's that's a pattern. That's an old color pattern right there, y'all. That's a super old color pattern. Great big old thick. Great big old thick back. Yes. Sir. Y'all gotta excuse my old dirty boat. But when you put them to use and putting a bunch of fish in the cooler or in the boat, that's how they look. Especially when you don't have time to clean it up. Just how they look. Tell you one thing, guys, I wanna. There's been a few guys that I've met out here that's come up and thank me for me putting these videos together and they're true seem to be guys that tr are, are truly respectable because uh you know a lot of times especially on lake houston lake houston's uh one of the worst lakes that uh i've seen where folks want to follow you around and uh it's all about putting that, that, that work in. And you don't want to follow behind somebody. Uh, fish stuff that they've already fished. So, uh, be respectable. And, and I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I'm glad to hear that they're helping you. So, uh, as long as I'm able, I'll, I mean, I've been doing this for life. I've I, I fished my whole life, so... Not for crappie, but I've put a lot of hours on the water. It's what I really, really enjoy. Hey guys, I don't know if y'all can, I'm gonna try to see if I can zoom in. Look at that little old bitty, itty bitty bait fish right there. And look at that jig right there. It's a little bit bigger, but not much. And those are the things you wanna be looking for. You know, when I first put in at the ramp, that's the first thing I'm looking for. What size is the bait? And a lot of times you can see those big old uh, big shad, you know, fumbling around on top. And sometimes you see little old bitty bait fish like that. And if it's small bait that, that's available for them, you want to be matching that, that jig size to that. And they're still biting real light that's a good fish i mean just a little old perch a little old peck old school red white short y'all bam great big old good one
great big old good one. You know, I've been complaining about not catching many blacks. I've been mostly on the white crappie. And uh, they've caught two pretty nice ones already. And there's a nudin. Not just a great big old black, but definitely a nice one. Definitely a nice one, a little old nine, maybe nine and a half incher. Mm hmm. There's a better one. Old black nose. Great big old thick black nose. Mm-hmm. Look at that, y'all. Some little Wally Marshall mud. Great big old thick back. Gowza. They won the active jig this morning. Beautiful morning this, this morning, you guys. I mean, it's just... 76 I believe my truck said air temp Let's check what the water temp is I know it's cooled off 85.7 beautiful absolutely gorgeous morning to be out on the, on the lake Yowza. Look like a nice little meat fish. A little manchus, more than likely. On the mark. Super nice fillet. He's got to thick that just nice and healthy. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Another nice meat fish. Love them in half. Just gorgeous. Look at the colors on that fish. monsters but you don't want the monsters when you meat fishing let them, let them, let them, let them in the half just old good one meat fish old G sauce I can get this joker in the net. It's a little better fish. 
<laughs> a little better fish. <laughs> a little better fish. Look at that jig in that fish mouth, y'all. Y'all? Love it, love it, love it. Uh, I get a lot of people asking me uh, what color jig to use. And that's about like saying, what is everybody going to eat on the buffet? You know, and you got to be prepared. Get get several colors. I mean, if you're asking to what colors you need in your box, get several. And uh, just be prepared to feed the fish what they want. You don't want to come out here, you know, somebody saying, oh, this color here worked great because just like this red, white, and, and, and chartreuse, here in an hour or so, they may not even want to touch it. So, you have to uh, be willing to adapt to what the fish want. Uh, and I talk a lot about high contrast, low contrast, natural, all of that stuff. And that's how I judge what I'm going to use and I'm going to try to lay out give some examples of what I'm talking about I now mean, I think of pretty self-explanatory but I'm going to lay it out so that uh we're all on the same page when I when I say uh when I'm talking about uh high contrast low contrast natural bright dark Come yourself there, little buddy. You're going back if you get me, let me get my hands on you. But, uh, that's how I judge what these fish are going to do. And it helps me a lot. I, mean, I never come out and say all oh, the fish this is what so and so said was working i mean if if you're next to me or you're you see me out here and i say i, I may be able to tell you it's red white and short if you're out here at the moment i give you the depth and uh you may you may be able to catch some fish then on that color but by the time i get this video edited look at that I mean, <laughs> these jokers was hungry. <laughs> I need to get my during on a uh, counter appeal. Yeah, I mean, they just, they still, I mean, lightly hitting it, but quality fish. I didn't expect it to jump off like that. That's three, four. Seven, eight, nine. So it's nine in the box already. <clears throat> well, I've hit ten. So I gotta give my buddy a call. How he's doing. Oh. I mean, you got. I just caught one. You call it. Oh. Three. Yeah, I mean, you got. Ten. Two. Ten. Hey, it's it's on fire, dude. It's on fire, bro. Huh? 
Black, white. Mix. Yeah, I got two black and one white. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's on. Yeah, you, hey. I ain't get ready to tell you, you grown man, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> you you's a grown man. I ain't gonna tell you what to do, but there you go. <laughs> Bring your narrow tail on over here. <laughs> hey, it's on fire, bro. Hey, hey. That red, white, and chartreuse, bro, is acting a plump fool. They they in love with it. They in love with it. Yeah, I'm 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 fishing. I'm I'm fishing ten foot, but I, you know I'm having raised up to about eight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you right another three. Two minutes. Just got the limit about in. <laughs> <laughs> it's up. Hey, do what you gonna do, man. I am. Uh, hey, I'm gonna have to get one good now. I'm gonna have to go my way. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs>